All right, well, I think we finally got this thing together um, as much as we're going to get it. Now we'll connect the panels. What is that, Alice? Thank you. Can we go on for a ride? Yeah. Woo! They see me rolling. <laughs> What do we have here? Me. We got the hand card and the charge controller and the inverter and the bus cars. Just starting to put it together. On the wheels with the board and the best helper. That's right. <laughs> and helper number two. Okay. Here's our update here. We got everything mounted, kind of, sort of yet. Got the charge controller, the wires going to the bus bars, the shunt down here for the monitor, can and the fuse. Can you tell my grandma? Yeah. Right. With your stamps on your face. <laughs> and we got the switch back here for it that will mount. <laughs> That's good. Now hold this one. All right, so we've got everything um, mounted and connected here, except the battery. We're going to put the battery on, right? Yeah. And um, so if you want to, you know, we got our cables all here. We got um, two watt cabling, so it's real heavy, heavy duty. Probably overkill, but it shouldn't get hot. It should be real efficient. And we got, um, yeah, we're ready to put the battery on. You're sitting in a chair like me. <laughs> He's ready to go to hook the battery up. That's just that. That. All right, so now we hooked up the battery and now we want to hook up the, the Renogy battery. Model. So here that is. And we'll, uh, We'll plug it in because I already got the shunt ready to go and we're just going to plug it into that. Just got to, uh, we're getting our voltage there. We gotta just Take program my turn. it to be Take my turn. 100 amp okay. hours. I'll probably go like 14, 4, I'll say. And we'll go probably 10 of And I'll probably go down and stuff. You can make an alarm on it if it goes below a certain amount. Oh, and then we'll set it at 100%. There. Oh yeah, then we'll get some two-way tape on this, which I got ready right here. Is that straight? Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we are, uh, we've got it hooked up and we're testing it out with the griddle over here, which takes 1300 watts. So we just started it a few minutes ago. It was at a hundred percent. Now we're at 93, but we're rolling here. It's working just fine. The wires aren't even hot. Yeah, we don't really want to touch them too much, but you know, okay. <laughs> no. Why not? And we got quesadillas. Uh, 
Got it. And some milk. Not too heavy. Very good. Okay, good. Now let's do the fun part. You ready? All right, well, I think we finally got this thing together um, as much as we're going to get it. Now we'll connect the panels for the first time. I'll pull it over here in the shade and then we'll, uh, we'll get them hooked up here. And here's a back view of it with the Victron 120 charger and then the USB uh, 12 volt panel here with the USBs and the 12 volt charger. And then the solar wire and the cutoff switch right here. I got 15 foot of cord on it right now, so. All right, and we're getting 139 watts from those two 100 watt panels. So now it's just ready to rock and roll with the solar. And we'll check the uh, Renogy app here. And uh, yep, shows I'm getting 120 watts on that. So it's you know, pretty cool. You can monitor that. The, uh, the, the Bluetooth module there. One other thing I'm going to show here is just charging it with the Victron charger here in case it's a cloudy day or rainy, which it kind of is right now. And you, or you didn't want to use the solar panels, you just wanted to plug it in and charge it. So we're going to plug it in here. We were already at 100% because we charged it up with solar the other day, but there it's going to charge at 200 and some watts. And Victron's app is really cool. It's uh, it's better than the Renogy one, I think, and it'll show you exactly what it's doing. So now it's in absorption, which means it's full. And we're at 14.2 volts. And so it's ready to take camping with you or use in your off-grid cabin or power your house with it. Add another uh, couple batteries if you want to. And uh, it's ready to rock and roll.